ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर कुरेंद्र फॉर योर काइंड वर्ड्स एंड थैंक यू प्रोफेसर नम्रता एंड ए पी ओ टी एस डॉक्टर गंगा एंड रूपेश फॉर अलाउिंग मी टू बी हियर एंड शेयर अवर एक्सपीरियंस रिगार्डिंग एजुकेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग इन ऑक्यूलर ट्रोमा as we all know that uh, it is very important to under uh, and already highlighted that incidence of blindness caused by ocular injury is very well known every year 55 million people in the world suffer from eye injury restrict at least their activity for more than one day 750000 persons with ocular injuries require hospitalization at least for one day and include 200000 open globe injuries 1.6 million blind people 2.3 million people with bilateral low vision and 19 million people with unilateral blindness it will cause the economical and social burden so we know we know we would like to have more people to treat ocular trauma in more effective and efficient manner but as we all know that the medical and surgical education is something different ball game it is still little difficult uh, to train people in ocular injuries because of certain reasons because it is an emergency it is not a elective part lack of human resources uh, limited access to the ocular efficient ocular trauma care services and lack of co- coordination amongst various departments like uh, sub specialities of the ophthalmology and other uh, department where other experts are required the objective is to create a task force to fight the blindness because of ocular trauma clinicians who understand the ocular trauma well this will need a person who can handle the primary point of contact and manages emergency management and they or coordinate the team management once emergency is over the management by sub specialty may be take taken over and may be multiple the uh, players of the team should come the challenges in training is awareness among the ophthalmologists itself because uh, very few people want to have a career this as a career option is a non elective patient and people think that it is financially less rewarding so where are there are very few people who are coming forward uh, coming forward uh, for this training there are limited number of ocular trauma care centers also though so when we started in coordination with ocular trauma society of india we have uh, given lot of thoughts uh, and uh, try to understand the different training models and uh, in uh, many of the institution the training tenure was more than 2 years or 3 years ro- rotationally from one to another department because the fellow has to uh, be expert in all these departments but in ocular trauma society uh, we we decided to have a model to any person who is undergoing training if we extend tenure for 6 months then we uh, consider them as a ocular trauma fellow beyond not training one trauma fellow for all sub specialties and uh, so we started getting some of the trainees and uh, he started treating people the this method has to be different than the elective surgery emergency attendance is must for all ocular trauma fellow primary care by ocular tra- trauma fellow either in for trivial trauma or if it is a severe if, uh, the trauma fellow has to create the team and team team work will follow and referral to the re- re- respective department like retina cornea glaucoma or if required the other part like neurology neurosurgery maxillofacial surgery all team work has to be created during their emergency posting they examine they do assistance and independent repair once the skill is acquired and during sub specialty training depending upon the specialty of ophthalmologist the specialty surgical given under observation and then independently rotational posting for different departments to learn the nuances of various specialities for medical and surgical protocols surgery as a part of surgical training primary repair of open globe injury or adnexal injuries are more important or removal of ocular surface or intramural foreign body to start with for that particular it is very important to have a training infrastructure for documentation and assessment once the fellow is documenting and then expert person will 
access those data and uh, so that they can uh, uh, correct the uh, problems with the ocular trauma fellows and uh, improvise the conceptualization. Training infrastructure for surgical recording self and expert assessment also is very, very essential. Ocular Trauma Society has trained four fellows till now. Three has been trained by us and fourth fellow is undergoing training with Dr. Shakin Singh. We are planning to take many more fellows at all our centers. The impact of the of other aspect on the practice, ophthalmologists, once they are trained with ocular trauma, they feel very much confident for other subspecialities also. Fear for frightening sight is also gone. Uh, these are experience uh, sharing by Ocular Trauma Fellows uh, by Ocular Trauma Society of India. Particularly, they said it is very important to gain a full-fledged confidence in day-to-day -day practice and having age over other fellow ophthalmologists. And uh, fellowship has given the meanings to the career. This is one of the experience shared by our one of the fellow. So, Dr. Mehul, his audio is not coming. Uh, the person, maybe you want to adjust something on your computer because at least I can't hear. Yeah, just to. Mm -hmm. Not coming. Not coming. Still. सर एक बार स्क्रीन से स्कोप कीजिए उसके बाद शेयर स्क्रीन करते टाइम से शेयर स्क्रीन भी तो साउंड ऑप्शन सिलेक्ट करके शेयर कीजिए साउंड आ जाएगा uh, it was very important that to integrate the ocular trauma, particularly during a routine residency program. Normally, residents are not very much uh, sensitized to this program, but sensitization to all resident doctors regarding ocular trauma and emergency documentation according to BTTS or IGATS, uh, documentation of ocular trauma score and pediatric ocular trauma score, and training for primary management has helped all the residents residents to learn and to active uh, to encourage the uh, interest in the ocular injury cases and these are experience sharing of a few of our resident doctors uh, in summary <coughs> the ch chance to worst case scenario including no light perception has to be given this they understood the standardization of documentation according to the required uh, format as as uh, as learned by these people and timely intervention according to the standard protocol and guidelines is important and persistent to the trauma case with multiple surgeries and with good hope will uh, create a good impact. That's what they have learned. Particularly research, ocular trauma fellows and residents are involved in prospective and retrospective research regarding ocular trauma, published several articles and presented during national and international conferences. So our Ocular Trauma Society fellows uh, have presented 63 presentations during national and international conferences, and they have a 14, 14 publications in their name, while our 34 resident doctors have uh, presented 74 uh, presentations in, in various forums with having 28 publications in their names. So these are the presentations by Ocular Trauma fellows, and these are the publications by fellows and residents because where they are primarily involved. Future of ocular trauma education, as suggested by IGATS, ocular trauma trained fellow present in each trauma center attending emergency cases. His or her scope of working will be during primary management, coordinating amongst the ophthalmology subspeciality as well as other department, and documentation according to standard terminology and keeping all data up to date, including follow ups. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.